Hey guys, I just recently made a video showing uh, how your forehand and serve could be an issue with having arm problems. So if you're able to turn with their non-dominant arm and use your shoulders, same thing on the serve, and you're able to do that, then the, and you're still having arm issues, there's a couple other things you might want to consider. I always like watching players follow through. So watch my follow through. If I follow through here and I stop, notice there's a gap here. I had to make this stop. So I put a lot of tension in my arm to make this arm stop. So if you can start relaxing and let the racket go all the way across where it naturally stops, it's a lot better. It's kind of like equivalent to this. This is your break right here. And if you keep using your break to stop, you can feel the tension. Eventually, it's going to break down. And eventually, you're going to have arm problems, right? So if you cannot use that break and just let, let the natural progression of the swing just relax and go across much easier now how do you do that well the first thing you want to consider is having a really loose grip so two fingers and a thumb allows you to have that i've talked about this before in another video but the idea is this is about your arm problem so if you're able to swing like this and come across notice I, the racket just naturally came across it naturally comes across right and it's stopping here with my arm up Right? If you can finish here every time and it's not a force, you're going to be a lot better off with your arm. Okay, So loose grip. Have a loose grip. Another big thing. Here's my biggest um, point is when players hit the ball, uh, like recreational players are having problems with their arm, a lot of times, and no pro talks about this. I've been, I've been teaching a long time under a lot of people. and they, A lot of players, if, if um, I see them, like they step in and they always hit it cross court. And they can't hit it down the line. And the reason is your wrist needs to be taken back. So check it out. If I'm hitting that way and the butt of the racket faces me and I swing, that allows, so I'm swinging. Look at my contact point when it's in front of me. This is to the side of me if I'm hitting that way. If it's in front, it's always going to go what? Cross court, right? So in your perspective, I'm gonna, my strings are facing cross court when, the, when I'm hitting in front of me. So the pros don't do that because for me to hit straight ahead, I would have to all have all the impact to the side of me, a lot of impact on the arm, and it's not going to be as strong too. You see a lot of young kids hitting the ball really hard. They know better. There's nobody that hits the ball hard like this. Look at my arm. It's not like this racket is an extension of my arm where it's even. There's no one that hits that like that. Okay. So bringing your wrist back is crucial for that. So watch when I bring my wrist back and drive the butt of the racket forward, the racket head stays in front. Now I'm at a 90 degree angle of the force and it's a lot less impact on the arm versus a 180 degree. So this is, this is gonna have a lot more impact on my arm, this will not. And also I can hit the ball harder. So this is really challenging for players that have just learned this. But I encourage you, if you watch a good take back, look at my left wrist on the back end. See how I bring it back? And now I'm going to drive the butt of the racket forward and make contact in front of me and come over me, my uh, shoulders. Again, see how my wrist comes back. And then I'm able to swing in front. Going in this perspective, I'm swinging in front. There's my contact point. So I'm making my swing and I'm making a contact point here. Same thing if I'm hitting here on my backhand. See, my wrist is back, that 90 degree angle. And now I'm able to hit in front of me and come across. So the two big things is a loose grip, okay, but also thinking about having your wrist back on impact so that you can have a, a 90 degree angle to the impact versus 180, which will be will alleviate a lot of pressure on your arm. And also you can hit the ball harder. So give it a shot and hopefully that will not only keep you from being injured, but be able to hit the ball a lot harder.